Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kumit's Ghost, and we're going to do the E's today. The E's. Okay, we're going to mint through these because there are about 103. First one up is The Eagle. This is a pretty good film. You've got Channing Tatum, Jamie Bell, and it's a story of a uh, Roman like fighter, soldier with a slave, and they sort of form a friendship, but not at first. Good film. Eagle Eye. This is... Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a bit, a few spoilers throughout this section. You've got a computer that is ordering uh, Michelle, Monag uh, Michelle Monaghan, that's it, and Shia LaBeouf to do things against their will because uh, they're holding things at ransom like her child, uh, his freedom, and they're being pursued by Billy Bob Thornton as well. Early Man. This is uh, from, I think it's from Ardman, uh, Ardman Studios. Uh, the team behind Wallace and Gromit. Earth to Echo. I've seen about three quarters of this film. I need to get back on that because that would pop out when it was on and yeah, I just want to go back and watch it. A film of its time. Earthquake. Charlton Heston and an earthquake. Great cast in that. East is East. I do have West is West. I need to put them together really. Uh, Easy 8. This is such a good film. And there's a tune in this on a birthday card, and it sort of gets under her skin. Hates it at first, becomes a ringtone after a while. Very good. It's about a girl who um, has a reputation because, well, she allows it to happen. Eat Locals. Got this because uh, Mackenzie Crook's in that. The guy with the wooden eye in Pirates of the Caribbean. He's also in um, Three and Out. Eat, Pray, Love. This is a very good film. Saw this at the cinema. Julia Roberts. It's a feel-good film. Echelon Conspiracy. I thought this was quite a slow film. Um, good, but you got it's got a great cast. You've got Ving Rhymes. You've got Jonathan Price, who was uh, it Sparrow in Game of Thrones. He was also in Jumping Jack Flash. Martin Sheen from West Wing. Shane West from something or another. Uh, yeah, but it's quite a slow film, I thought. Could have been better given the story and the cast. Eddie the Eagle, this is a great biopic, kind of a biopic of his, uh, of Eddie the Eagle. He's an um, uh, Olympic ski jumper and uh, he has a, a coach played by Hugh Jackman. And he was kind of considered a joke in the UK as um, uh, a ski jumper, but it's a feel good movie. Very, very good. Eddie, this is uh, Sheila Hancock who kind of, um, she has a relation with a younger man, not like a sexual relationship, just like a, it's like a journey, and uh, she just sort of strikes up a friendship with this young guy, and it's based on a true story, but uh, I think she's like 82 or something, and she has to, she goes on this sort of cross-country trek. Eden Lake. I saw this when it first came out, and I didn't realise it was Michael, Michael Fassbinder. My, Michael Fassbinder, but I don't think he was famous then. So I wouldn't have recognised him anyway. The Edge. This was a German import, and uh, it was um, a digi book, but it was like oversized. It had, I'll show you what it has. It has the Blu-ray, it has uh, the soundtrack to the film, and it has DVD. But I just made my own cover up because I don't like, well, I do like digi books. I like steel books and all that, but I just don't have them in my collection because I want them all the same. I don't even have uh, slip covers, so I put them away. Edge of Darkness this has a really good kill scene in this on the uh, stairs, uh, stoop if you live in America, and um, with a shotgun. Very good Mel Gibson film. Uh, Ray Winston's in that as well. Edge of 17, I've not seen this yet, and I want to see it. It's Woody Harrelson, Eddie Seinfeld, uh, Steinfeld. I really need to see that, because that's really good, and that's a German import. Edge of Tomorrow. Great film, kind of like a groundhog feel about it. Let me just turn that light around. Yeah, it's got like a, a groundhog feel about it. Uh, in so much as Tom Cruise, he gets um, kind of squirted with alien DNA and blood and stuff, and he has to. Re uh, he does. He sort of, yeah, whenever he dies, he has. He comes back to the start of the day, and he has to sort of uh, improve his day in so much as get as far as he can to the en enemy stronghold is uh, aliens very very good ed tv this is the way of today reality television uh matthew mcconaughey this is an import uh woody harson's in this elizabeth hurley 
I'm not sure if Mike or Steve got me this. I think I imported it myself. If I didn't, I apologize. An education. What a cast in this. Uh, Carrie Mulligan, Emma Thompson, Olivia Williams, Dominic Cooper, Rosamund Pike. I love her. Uh, Peter Skarsgård and Alfred Molina. Great film. Great cast. Educate Rita. You've got Michael Caine as a teacher, Julie Waters as his uh, adult student, and uh, it's great. He's an alcoholic, in fact. It's like a, a comedy drama. Edward Scissorhand, I wasn't a big fan. I'm still not a big fan of this film, to be fair. Um, I don't know, it's just the style of it. There's something about it. I, this one, on the other hand, again, uh, Johnny Depp and Tim Burton directed. Much better. And you've got um, Bill Murray in this as well. Yeah. That's the story of Edward, the uh, the, the famous, awful director. Uh, the Eichmann Show. I don't know anything about that. I bought that because Martin Freeman is in that. I guess Sanction. Very good. Um, I just going to say Stallone then. Uh, very good Clint Eastwood film. That's awesome. Clint Eastwood. Uh, yeah, I think that was part of a box set. Pretty sure it was. So I don't even have box sets. I take all the boxes and put them to one side. This this one, uh, this is when the UK had the um, the Disney Movie Club. Uh, I got this for free. Paul Walker. Eight Mile. This is a very, very good movie. And it's got, as well as Eminem, you've got Kim Basinger and Brittany Murphy, who died far too young. Poor Brittany Murphy. Kind of Eminem playing himself there. Eight millimeter, a very good Nicolas Cage film. Um, a woman, old woman, uh, her husband dies, and she finds a snuff film, and she wants to check its authenticity, see if it actually, if it actually was a snuff film. So she hires uh, Nicolas Cage, who's a private detective, and he sort of gets embroiled into the underworld of um, um, snuff films and pornography. And it's also got, if I recall. Who was uh, Joaquin Phoenix? That's it. Yeah, he is it. Uh, the end of a, I think it was a, um, a club. It's either a, he owns a porno shop or like a strip joint, something like that. It's been a while since I've seen it. Election. <laughs> it's a great we, uh, Reese Witherspoon film. I think this was one of her first roles. She plays uh, Flick, uh, a young girl who's in school. Tracy Flick. She wants to become like a school president or something, and he's a teacher, and he. He just wants to put a stop to her. It's a bad move. Electric Dreams. Um, it gives you a whole new insight to computer dating. Elegy. Uh, I've not seen this one. Penelope Cruz, Ben Kingsley, so I can't really say a great deal about that. Ooh, mints and foodies quick. Just pause that a second. Uh, right. Electra. This is a superhero movie I have not seen, so I need to get on to that because I've heard both good and bad reports, so I need to make up my own mind. The Elephant Man. You've got uh, Anthony Hopkins, who plays a surgeon, I think, in this. He plays uh, a well-meaning surgeon, yep. And John Hurt is John Merrick. Really good. David Lynch film. Um, it reduced you to tear. The, poor, the things that happened to that poor man. Elf, I hated this when it first came out. I saw it at the cinema, absolutely hated it. But I gave it about five or six years, and then I, I think it was on TV, and I thought, well, it's better than I thought, and I watch it every year now. Love it. Elfie Hopkins, that's um, Jamie that's Jamie Winston. That's um, Ray Winston's daughter. Elizabeth, oh, and I'll put this one with it. Elizabeth, the Golden Age... Um, Story of Queen Elizabeth I. Ruled with an iron fist and a knob of butter. Elysium. This is a was this the third one? You had um, District Nine, uh, Chappie, and then this one from Neil Blomkamp, and um, it has that guy. I forget what his name is now. Uh, Sholto Copley. I think he's in all three. I'm pretty sure he is. And this is kind of like Alita Battle Angel in so much as you've got pe poor people living on the earth and then the rich people living in the sky. But it's a really good Matt Damon film. And when he goes into that thing and gets contaminated, oh, horrible, horrible scene. Emperor, uh, 
Tommy Lee Jones. He should make more films, Tommy Lee Jones. Emperor of the Sun. Empire Records. I don't think that this is out in the UK. I don't think... Oh, look at that. E eco. Uh, crustiness, as uh, Steve would say. Cashier one. Why do they do that? I mean, it's... I'm not going to chuck these cases away. In fact, I get rid of a lot of plastic on the earth. Just put them all on Blu-ray cases. Emperor's New Groove. Number 39 in the Disney canon. Empire State. I thought this was quite a slow film. Liam Hemsworth, uh, Dwayne Johnson and Emma Roberts. Uh, yeah, Emma Roberts. Yeah, quite a slow film. I thought. You might disagree. Enchanted, uh, Prince Charming, and is it Cinderella? I can't remember what the story is. Cinderella Sleeping Beauty. No, it's got to be Cinderella, surely. Yeah, with the pumpkin and everything. Was it Snow White? It looks like you've got Snow White there with the. Oh, I don't know. It's a live action one of the Disney things, but they can do better now. I know they can. That's not a bad film, though, by any means. Ender's Game. I love the ending of this, but there's not enough. Harrison Ford in this film as a as a Butterworth is that his name Viola Davis Abigail Breslin who always puts in a great performance Ben Kingsley it's a good sci-fi film The Endless this is an Arrow Arrow release uh, you, and it comes with a book and a card for another film oh, there you go just put that together I like the Arrow releases that come in clear cases. End of Days. This is a good Schwarzenegger film. Um, it's about the end of days. Like hell is coming to reality, uh, coming up into New York. <laughs> As if they'd notice. Uh, and you've got um, you've got a creepy guy who's uh, albino, and he's like turns to glass or something on a tube, and he oh he's just so creepy. What a creepy man. End of Days. Good, very good. I like that. That's one of his better ones, I think. End of Watch with Michael Pina and Jake Gyllenhaal. Enemy. I don't know what the problem is when uh, people don't like the ending. Um, I'm going to spoil it. So, you know, it comes a spoiler. The Big Spider at the end. I used to keep tarantulas. Um, in fact, I had about 140 of them. I haven't got any now, though. Uh, so, I, it didn't bother me the ending. The Big Spider at the end. Enemy of the Gates, this is an exceptional film. I love the, like, the sepia tones of this. It's, um, you've got two snipers. You've got Jude Law and Ed Harris. And I like sniper films. I do like a good sniper film. Uh, Rachel Weisz, is, oh my God, she's at a prime in this. Um, Ed Harris, when he was young, God, he looks really wrinkly now. As do we all when we get old. But it's a really good sniper film. War film, I should say, not just a sniper film. But it's two snipers trying to outwit each other. Enemy of the State. For me, this is Will Smith's best film. Very good. Makes you think twice about the government, that one. Enemy Mine. Is this an Arrow? Uh, no, this is a Eureka release. Because people, people have asked me, have I got like Arrow, have I got Eureka? So I'll just show you. Okay, I'm going to pause it now, get a drink. We're about halfway there now, so I'll mince on quickly. Uh, the Enforcer. This is the one with, uh, is it Time Dead? What was she in? Uh, Cagney and Lacey. Uh, this is a good one. I like that one. Good Clint Eastwood film. The English Patient. Ooh, when, he, when he's being treated with his burns, rubbing the cream in. Oh, you can feel his pain. English Man Who Went Up a Hill, Came Down a Mountain. This is a Spanish import, and it's a true story. Hugh Grant and this other guy. I forget who the other guy is. I can see him. But they go to, I think it's Wells, because uh, this is set during, uh, I think it's 1917, in 1917. And all the hills and mountains and whatnot are being measured in England and uh, to see the classification of this hill or mountain. And they go to this little place and the, uh, the locals think it's a mountain. They've always said it's a mountain. Anyway, um, Hugh Grant, he measures it and, uh, and his uh, colleague, and they, they deem it a hill. So uh, the villagers and everybody keep them in the village, um, like sabotaging their transport and giving them free meals and this, that and the other, getting them drunk. Meanwhile, all the villagers are going up and they're bringing up buckets of dirt and stuff and building the hill up so it becomes class of the mountain. 
and it's a true story and it still goes on today it's like an annual thing they all go up because of erosion the weather sort of washes down some of the old mud so they go up and rebuild this every year enigma if you liked imitation game the story of the enigma the um, then you'll watch this one uh kate winslet it's not as good quality but still a good film and tabe entrapment you know if you can believe that sean connery can pull captain zeta jones then um that's the film for you that's a good heist movie but of its day uh entourage i never saw the tv show but i've heard it's good equalizer brilliant film chloe grace moretz um she's a prostitute in this and she's been uh, abused by a pimp and the equalizer aka denzel washington is going to put an end to that simple as that with dire consequences for everybody involved apart from denzel washington obviously equalizer 2 not as good still a good film but just not as good it's become it became more sort of studio you can see it's like more hollywood that one uh, nicholas holt kristen stewart in equals this was a german import equilibrium good film that's a really good action film it's like uh it's like the matrix on the budget aragon uh great sort of family dinosaurs sort of uh oldie worldy feel about it and good very good aragon uh yeah eraser schwarzenegger who's the girl in this uh vanessa williams the, the singer you've got james coburn in this <laughs> he plays a great villain sorry that's a bit of a spoiler there um yeah sort of uh, weapons of the future with the, the electric um pulsing guns and it's great it's a great film schwarzenegger is best Aaron Bokovic, uh, wow, what a film this is. This is uh, based on a true story of um, small town lawyers taking on a huge company and uh, who are poisoning their locals with fracking and, and dumping poison. It's just amazing. Uh, and uh, wow, brings you, uh, bring you to tears at the end. Ernest goes to camp and look at that little face. Ernest scared stupid. <laughs> Escape from Alcatraz, another Clint Eastwood film. Uh, a great film, and I always wondered, did they actually, uh, in real life, make it off the island? They should bring back Alcatraz, the TV show. That's such a good TV show. Escape from New York. Scott Pliskin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Snake Pliskin. Scott Pliskin. Um, and Escape from LA. One of these was really difficult to track down. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was that. Oh, no, no, I can't remember. Really hard to get. Steve, Cashier One, thank you very much. I uh, thank you for everyone that you sent me. This is um, the 40th anniversary, and I'm not sure what this one's from, but um, these are Disney Movie Club exclusives. You can only get this in the States. Uh, no point in asking me for the code because uh, I've sent them to Steve. Yeah, great old Disney films. Love them. And I put them together. Which is unusual for me because uh, I usually sort of split sequels up for some reason. Great old films. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, Escape Plan. This is uh, Stallone and Schwarzenegger coming together. I think, was this the first time? Was this after Expendables or before? I don't know. This is a really good film. Stallone escapes, not, yeah, Stallone escapes from uh, prisons for a living and uh, he's put in this prison. He is almost unbreakable. Um, get out inescapable i should say and uh, arnold schwarzenegger is uh, a fellow inmate in there very good i'm not doing it justice with that and this one escape plan 2 i was told that um stallone wasn't in this much but i thought he's in it quite a lot it's good not as good as the first one though et eternal sunshine of the spotless mind this was a bit like um uh elf in so much as i didn't like it when i first saw it but uh it grew on me it's a great film that is now and uh, that's jim carrey and uh kate winslet and you've got elijah wood in that as well kirsten dunce too and mark ruffalo i've not even opened this yet uh european vacation should be under n for national lampoons but I'm, i'll put it under the title i have seen it is that the one with wally world 
I think of a different one. Is that the one when it, no, it's going to go in Europe, isn't it? Evan Almighty, Steve Curran, not as good as Bruce Almighty, but that's my opinion. Event Horizon, this is a great horror film. Horror sci-fi. And, oh, I was asked if I would do, if you're still with me, I was asked if I'd uh, redo my sci-fi collection. And I've got the sci-fi collection still on the laptop, so I might re-upload those. If you've already seen them, you don't have to see them again. I don't expect you to watch them again. Uh, the first three I will re-upload, and then I will continue with my son to do the rest. Event Horizon. Ever After. That's a Cinderella story, that one. Everest in 3D, and this is based on a true story. Uh, I didn't think the 3D was amazing in this. Um, it's quite flat in places, but really good in others. Uh, it's just, but the story, my God, the story is harrowing what happened. Why would anybody choose to climb up Everest? Why would you do that? Everybody wants some. I mean, dead bodies, dead bodies are still up there. Everything must go. Every which way but loose. Yeah, and I need the I need to get the the, the sequel to that or the original. One of these is a sequel. I can't remember. This is a sequel. Or the other one's a sequel. Any which way you can. I think any which way you can was the first one, but I need to get that one. Okay, let's pause that. Okay, here we go again. Evil under the sun. Uh, now I've got death on the Nile. <sighs> Evil under the sun. What's the other two? Murder on, Murder on the Orient Express. And for the life of me, I can't think of the other one. There's four. Uh, I did have the slips, but um, Dave asked me to send them to him. Uh, Dave Lee, so I've done that. Uh, yeah, Peter Ustinov. I used to collect all the Ag Agatha Christie books. Great author. Wish I'd released Agatha. Uh, the story of when Agatha Christie went missing for like 11 days or something like that. Um, it was a film with um, Dustin Hoffman. Sorry, I was scratching my hand there. Not a sign of money. Um, Excalibur, this is part of the HMV Premium Collection number 13 from 1981. And when they release the Ten Commandments on the 8th of April, I will have them all. I will have that missing number. So, well, not all of them, they're still producing them. They just released two a couple of days ago. But Excalibur, I will probably show them again. Executive Decision, Kurt Russell and. Um, What's his name? Steven Seagal. And one of them dies really early. Sorry for the spoiler, but it's quite an old film. You should have seen it by now. Uh, yeah, one of them dies. I can't remember who dies. Is it St uh, Seagal that dies or um, Kurt Russell? God, it's been so long ago since I've seen that. Existence. This is uh, Cronenberg. Is it David Cronenberg? David Cronenberg. And I'm not usually a big fan of his work, but this is exceptional. It's got uh, Jude Law. Jennifer Jason Lee, um, William William Defoe is in this as well. Yeah, um, Ian Holm. And this is the way game is going to go. They, they plug the the, uh, the consoles directly into their body. I swear this is how it's going to go. And it's, they live in a, like a virtual world, and the story's changing all the time. But that gun, look at that gun. That's made out of bones, and it shoots teeth. It's brilliant. What a brilliant film. Exodus, Gods and Kings. I uh, really enjoyed this film too. 3D is exceptional in this film. Exceptional. I don't know if it changes from TV to TV because um, my brother-in-law's got a curved 65-inch uh, TV and some of his 3D is um, sort of a bit blurry and stuff So uh, and others as, as clear as a bell. And I don't seem to have any trouble with my 3D at all. Ex Machina. Great movie. Uh, you've got Oscar Isaacs, who's really good. Donald Gleeson is um, is very good. In it. Uh, they all put in stellar performances, but at least at Vikander as uh, the young girl. What's her name? I don't, what's, Ava. Ava. Just come to me now. It's not even on the back. Uh, I'm looking on the back for her name. It's not even on there. Uh, yeah, Ava. Whoa, she does a good job there. Last Exorcism of Emily Rose. And if I remember rightly, spoiler, uh, it's based on a true story. Uh, Emily Rose is dead. She dies during the exorcism. And it's told through the court case. Uh, Wilkinson? Uh, Tom Wilkinson, yeah. Laurie Linley is in this as well. She's always good. 
um, yeah, it's told to the court case what happened. Yeah, sort of flashback sort of thing. The Exorcist. Uh, Expatriate. This is quite a slow film, if I recall. Not a lot happens. Good premise for the story. Aaron Eckhart, uh, Eckhart is in this. It's just really slow. It just doesn't get going. The Expendables. Now, this is Stallone, again, back with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or... This was the first one. But uh, this is all like the action stars from the 80s. If you grew up in the 80s, you'll know this was a big, real big deal. Like Bruce Willis, Stil uh, Sylvester Stallone and Schwarzenegger, they, they were all sort of competing against each other in films through the 80s and 90s. And they all came together. Great idea from Stallone to get and bring them all together. And a load of other people, got Dolph Lundgren, uh, Lundgren, who's action star in his own right, but... You know, he was in the Rocky films. Um, Jason Statham is in this more modern action star. Jet Li. Great film. Terry Crews. Um, who's, the, who's the tattoo guy? Oh, Mickey Rock. And then they add, with each sequel, they add another few names. Like Van Damme is in this. Chuck Norris. Liam Hemsworth. And in the third one, I think it's Mel Gibson, isn't it? Uh, Mel, Mel Gibson's in this, and Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer's not really a a big action name. He was like Frasier, and uh, he was in Cheers as Frasier as well. But he's a good actor. Uh, the Experiment. Adrian Brody. Back to Bruce Willis again, and uh, Kellen Lutz in Extraction. I've seen this and I cannot remember anything about it. Exposed. This was quite a really, it's quite a slow film. And again, nothing really happens in it. Keanu Reeves. Uh, yeah, just not a great film. The Extraordinary Adventures of Adele Blanc Sec. Uh, I don't know. I saw this and I thought, well, you've got like a Victorian woman riding a pterodactyl, so that's got to be got and Luke Besson extremely oh, sounds loosey goosey in there yes it is extremely loud and incredibly close Sandra Bullock Tom Hanks and who else you got in this uh, Viola Davis that was it yeah and John Goodman I can't remember who played the, the child Thomas Horn is that it I don't know Extraordinary Measures. This was quite a slow film too, um, based on a true story. So you expect it to not be all like action and kidding and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is an American import. Brendan Fraser, Harrison Ford and uh, Kerry Russell. The Eye. That's quite disturbing. Hands coming out your eye. Ugh. That's Is that the one where um, Jessica Alba inherits eyes well not inherits them <laughs> i've left you my eyes no well in a way yeah um through donorship um and she starts seeing uh because it's it's from a serial killer or something the eyes i can't remember one of those kind of films eye in the sky uh, not a lot happens in this but my goodness it's tense uh i think this was alan rickman's last film helen mirren is in this aaron paul from breaking bad um, Baghad Ab Abdi as well I think that's him um, yeah it's all sort of told from like um, situation rooms in the it's army it's an army based thing and it's the Iron Sky who first like drones and stuff that are using to spy on this terrorist camp and whether they should strike this camp and it's just it's a lot of talking but it's very, very tense. There are scenes in the camp, you know, where they're, they're, they're viewing, but uh, or in the streets, rather. Really good. Watch it. Give it a go. You think, oh, no, but it's, it is brilliant. Eyes Wide Shut. A Kubrick film. I, I really enjoyed this one. I've read the screenplay to this as well. Um, yeah, you, uh, you've got... Uh, oh, I forget. What's her name? Nicole Kidman. Sorry, Nicole, if you're watching, which you, you're not. Uh, and Tom Cruise. And they were a real life couple at this point, and um, yeah, he's he's a doctor, and uh, he gets mixed up in like uh, these big like sex parties. So I'm gonna say about that. Finishing on on a low, 
uh, Eyewitness, this is probably the most boring film you're ever likely to watch. Uh, William Hurt, my God. They should check that guy for a pulse. Uh, Sigourney Weaver, she's she's okay in this, and even um, Christopher Plummer. James Woods is James Woods. <sighs> you know, he's he's like it in all his films, but William Hurt, he's trying to. I think he's trying to get uh, a relation started with Sigourney Weaver, but I've just gave up the ghost on it. Well, I did watch it from start to finish, but just it just drivels on and on and on and on and doesn't ever go anywhere. And on that recommendation, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was, I think, about 103, 104 titles. That was The Ease. And last week, I forgot to show you, uh, when I was doing these, Donny Brasco. That is a HMV exclusive uh, premium thing. Number 22 from 1997, Donny Brasco. Pop that back in there. So next time it would be the Fs, but I should probably do an out and about before then anyway. So uh, thank you very much for choosing to watch this channel, and I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, give it a sub if you've not, and take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.